Firstly, introducing the challenger. Tonight, he fights out of the red corner. He's wearing the black shorts at yesterday's weigh-in. He scaled 10 stone. Tonight, he brings with him an unbeaten record of 30 wins against just one draw with 16 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Brooklyn, New York, USA. Please welcome the challenger for the title and WBA number one contender, Dimitri Salita. And across the ring is a man who needs no introduction on these shores. Tonight, he fights out of the blue corner. He's wearing the green shorts. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, 13 pounds, eight ounces. And tonight, he brings with him a record of 21 wins with 15 knockouts against just one loss. In 2004, he captured silver in the 2004 Olympic Games and in just five years, became a world champion as a professional. And tonight, he makes the first defense of his crown. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Bolton, England, the WBA light welterweight champion of the world, Amir Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Hey guys, I give you the closure to the dressing room. They have a team match. Good luck. At the ghetto, like the great lightweight champion, Fanny Leonard and Max Baer and Maxi Rosenblum as well. Khan in the green shorts is starting. It's a big fight. Salita in that fight the first knockdown came after 10 seconds would you believe and there was never any way back from there for Dimitri Salita your heart goes out to him all those weeks training in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania all those dreams and don't blink it was very very quick I mean we spoke about can speed but phenomenally quick just a short left hand followed by the, the right hand bang on the chin and you see, as soon as it landed, you saw the impact on his, on his head and on his legs. And when he got up to here, you could see his eyes were gone. And when he stood up, his legs were gone. He never recovered from that punch because he was never given the chance to recover from it. I mean, he just set to the task. He knew at that point the fight was one clean punch away from being over. What a beautiful shot that was. That's as good a punch as Amir has thrown in his career. Tremendous shot. 
but, but his senses are gone, he wasn't given a chance to regain the senses, but you can see the lack of experience here. He just didn't know what to do in that corner, he was actually like a novice in there. You've got to say, haven't you, looking at this, Amir Khan, if he goes to the United States, he's going to wow them, I think, over there. They're going to love his style, they're going to love his aggression, his punching power, everything about him. He is going to be massive if he goes to the States early next year, as we expect him to do. This is a tremendous performance. OK, a bit of a, a disappointment that we didn't see more exchanges, didn't see more of Salita, but he just wasn't given the chance. That first punch was a beauty, it was a finisher. Well, he's always in spectacular, as it seems to me, Amir Khan, and his next job is going to be the chief sparring partner for Manny Pacquiao for that big fight against Floyd Mayweather, which is set for March the 13th, by the way. It might be useful sparring for Pacquiao on this evidence. But even look at the, the way he stepped in with the jab, which caught... Ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute 16 seconds of round one, your referee has stopped the contest. He deemed... Dimitri Salita was in no position to continue. The winner in the blue corner and still the WBA light welterweight champion of the world from Bolton, England, Amir Khan.